Hey beautiful people, our praises to the Most High. Hope you're blessed and safe. Well, this is a message from God. Judgment shall go out on the children of Israel and the children of Judah. The, the, those who are not the remnant, those who don't want to repent to God. And here's his message for them. Um, the ones who are not repenting to God, the children of Israel and the children of Judah who are not repenting to God will not forsake their evil ways. Um, God wants them to know that he knows what they're doing. He knows what they're doing and he knows what they're getting other people to do. And nothing's hid from his eyes and there's nothing he can't hear. They're deceiving themselves. And... This is what he wants me to read to them. Jeremiah, like, and people who are repenting of the children of Israel and children of Judah, God wants you to depart from them. So you don't have to take part in the judgment that he's doing to them. Because only a remnant of those children of Israel and children of Judah are going to be safe. And this is what God wants to say to them. This is, okay? So I'm just going to, it's actually like two to three chapters. God is literally giving it out to them. He wants me to read it to them because this is their punishment. And this is what he's doing to them. It's like in full effect. Now, 1 Peter 4 and 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? Because they're hypocrites. They're acting like they're good when they're wicked. They're acting like they serve God when they're using witchcraft and manipulating people's energies. Now, Isaiah 10 and 22, they're Pharisees. For though my, thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption, the consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. God is saying, though his people, the children of Israel, be as the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them are going to come back to God. The rest of them are evil. Now listen well. This is what God wants me to read. Two, two to almost three chapters in the book of Jeremiah. This is for the ungodly in Judah. This is for the ungodly in Israel. This is those who will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. This is the ones who, who envy their oppressors and took up their oppressors' ways. Where God said, don't envy your oppressor and choose none of his ways. These are the children of Israel and the children of Judah who took up their oppressors' ways. Okay? Now, Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 10 to whom shall i speak and give warning that they may hear behold their ears is uncircumcised that they cannot hearken behold the word of the lord unto them is a reproach they have no delight in it so those children of israel and then those children of judah they the, god's word to them is a reproach and they have no delight in god's word therefore i am full of the fury of the lord i'm weary withholding it in God's weary with holding it in with these people who are called by his name I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together for even the husband with the wife shall be taken the age with him that is full of days and their houses shall be turned on others with their fields and their wives together for I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land says the Lord for from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. They're covetous. They covet other people's goods. The children of Israel and the children of Judah, even amongst their own people. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone deals falsely. They don't tell the truth. The prophet don't tell the truth. The priest don't tell the truth. They, they prophesize for reward and they preach for reward. They have healed also the daughter of my people, slightly saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. They coveted from daughter Zion. 
and they they lied in daughter science face and they dealt 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 falsely with daughter science and that's what god's telling you too were they ashamed when they had committed abominations against their own people nay god said nay they were not ashamed they were not at all ashamed neither could they blush therefore they shall fall among them that fall at the time i visit them they shall be cast down says the lord thus says the lord stand ye in the way and see god says see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein and you shall find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk therein so the children of israel and the children of Judah said, they're not going to walk in God's ways. They're not going to walk in the good paths. Also, I have set watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. The judgment trumpets for them to know that the time is near. But they said, we will not hearken. They said, they're not going to listen to God. Therefore, hear you nations. So now God's talking to all the nations. And no, O congregation, since his people are not listening to him. They won't hearken to God's words. The children of Israel, the children of Judah. God's telling all the nations, listen, listen here. All the other nations, the Gentiles, God said, therefore here, ye nations and know, O congregation, the congregation, the body of Christ, those who serve God, what is among them? Hear, O earth. Now God's telling the whole earth to hear about them people. Hear about these people who are called by his name. Hear. But this is for everybody now. Hear, O earth, the nations, the children of Israel, the children of Judah. I Behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts. Because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor my law. They won't listen to God's words and they won't listen to hearken to his law, but rejected it. To what purpose comes there to me incense from Sheba when... And the sweet cane from a far country. When they go buy incense from far countries. Your burnt offerings are not acceptable. Nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. God's saying these people who burn sacrifices to him and they're wicked. It's not acceptable to him. Therefore, thus says the Lord. Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people. And the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. And thus says the Lord, Behold, a people comes from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the side of the earth. They shall hold the bow. They are cruel. They have no mercy. Their voice roars like the sea. And they shall ride upon horses set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. Daughter of Zion's own people did this, sir. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble, anguish take hold on us, and pain as, in a, as a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, grid thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes for daughter Zion to repent because her people are so evil. For the spoiler shall come, su come suddenly upon us. For I have set thee for a tower. He set daughter Zion as a tower about these people of Jude. Listen, I have set thee for a tower and a fortress. You remember she says, God is my tower and my fortress in Psalms 91. I have set thee for a tower, and he says, O tower of the flock, unto thee shall it come. Even the first dominion shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. God is tell warning daughter Zion about the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Get away from them because he's judging these wicked people. Because they deal falsely and every one of them is given to covetousness from the least of them to the... To the, to the greatest of them. So God says to her, I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people, that thou may know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. So God sent daughter Zion to try so she should know and try those people's way. And let her know that her people are revolters, 
walking with slanders, and they're all corruptors. The bellows are burned, the lead is consumed of the fire, the founder melts in vain, for the wicked are not plucked away. Retrobate silver shall men call them, because the Lord has rejected them. So these people of children, they keep saying, oh, we're God's chosen people. God is going to deliver us. Not these ones. Not these ones who won't hearken to God. Not these ones who despise God's word. Not these ones who are walking with slanders. Not these ones who are grievous revolters. Not these ones who are corruptors, who do corruption. Not them. Retrobate silver shall men call them, because they have rejected because God has rejected them. Now, hey, I'm not done. Stand ye, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there is there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all ye Judah that enter into the gates to worship the Lord and he also wants me to read what's in Amos because this is these people who keep saying oh we're God's chosen people God's coming to save us God's coming to save us and they're doing witchcraft they're 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 doing evil they're hypocrites they're wolves in sheep's clothing they took up their oppressors ways they do evil now the three chapters Thus says the Lord, this is about his people, Amos 2 and 4, thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have despised the law of the Lord. His people have despised the law of the Lord. And here's the problem with his people, holy people of God. God is saying like, they lay like God's law when it applies to them. But when it don't apply to them, they don't look, they hate God's law. When God says, thou shall not steal, say somebody steals from them. That's the only time they want God's law to be executed with judgment. But, they, but when they steal from somebody, no. They don't want judgment to be executed upon them. They lie on people, but they don't like when people lie on them. They covet from people, but they don't like when God, when people covet from them. And God, they only love God's word when it applies to them. This is the problem with these people. They steal, they lie, and they covet all day. And they don't do unto others as they want others to do unto them. But if anybody steals or lies on them, they go for God's word. And say, oh, let God judge you. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not steal. But they do it every day. They, they despise God's law. But then they, they reproach. They try to reproach people with it. And they try to persecute and point the finger at people with it. They're hypocrites. They use God's word when it's convenient for them. Do you understand? This is the problem with the people of is the children of Israel and the children of Judah. They don't judge righteously. They only use God, God's word and say they're the holy people when it applies to them. But they're out here living like Satan. Out here living like devils and demons. And then have the nerve to say that God, they're God's chosen people. When they're out here doing everything they're not supposed to and God's word only applies to them when injustice is being done to them. But when they're doing the injustice to another, they're hiding behind witchcraft so people don't see them. They're hiding behind wickedness so people don't find them out. Now God said, thus says the Lord. For three transgressions of Judah, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have despised the law of the Lord, and have not kept his commandments. And their lies cause them to err. They lie too much. Their lies is the reason why they're in error, after the, the which their fathers have walked. But they've done worse than their fathers, God wants you to know. 
but I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the palaces thereof. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they sold the righteous for silver. They sold, the children of Israel sold the righteous for silver, and the poor for a pair of shoes. That pant after the dust of the earth of the earth on the head of the poor. They hold down the poor. They oppress the poor so they can have what they what so they can have goods. So they can have gold and silver. So they can have houses and cars. They oppress their own people. They oppress their own people. And they turn aside the way of the meek. They turn away the right ways of God. And a man and his father will go into the same maid to profane my holy name. Man and man will, man and man and his father will sleep with the same woman. A man and his brother will sleep with the same woman. This is the type of stuff they do to profane God's holy name. And they lay themselves down upon clothes, laid to pledge by every altar, and they drink the wine of the condemned in the house of their God. They wear clothes that are pledged to idols. Don't you see them running down their designer clothes that all these things are from the marine kingdom and all kind of wickedness is on those type of clothes? Don't you see how foolish the children of Israel and children of Judah have become? They're in, they're in, they're, they're in the stores running and stealing out the designer clothes. Now, back to Jeremiah, what God wants me to finish up judging these people. Stand in the gate of the Lord's house, because judgment comes at the Lord's house first. These people, these people who won't go back to the Father, who rather, the high they're, they're modern day Pharisees. They want everybody to see them. God is the one who driven them out and put them in slavery. But them, they want to be seen by everybody. They took up their oppressor's way. Retrobate silver, men shall call them. Hear the word of the Lord, all ye of Judah, that enter into this gate to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings. This is what God wants them to do. Stop telling lies and slander because the lies is what caused them to err. Amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Trust ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if you oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and you shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, because they serve idols just because they want, they don't want to repent to God. They serve idols because they want what comes with serving idols, riches and gold and those type of stuff. Whatever they promise, the idol promised them. Whatever Satan promised them. They neither walk after other gods to your hurt. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place. In the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will you steal? God's telling these children of Israel, these children of Judah. Will you steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal? And walk after other gods whom you know not, and come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say we are delivered to do all these abominations. Oh, cause we're God's people, we 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 can just repent and we're okay to do all these wicked things against God and His people. We could steal, we could murder, we could commit adultery, swear falsely, and burn incense to other gods, and stand before God. And we're delivered. We can be saved to do all of these abominations. God said, is that how you feel? Is that how you feel? Is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? That is what he's asking these wicked children of Israel and children of Judah. 
do you think his house has become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, says the Lord, that they stole from their own people. They murder the innocent. They commit the adultery and they swear falsely. God said, I have seen it. But go ye now unto my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at first, and see what I did, what I did to it for the wickedness of my people Israel. Go look what he did for the wickedness of his people, he said. And now, because you have done all these works, says the Lord, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but you heard not, and I called you, but you answered not, therefore... Will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein you trust, and unto the peop unto the place which I have gave to you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh, and I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all of your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry, nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me. For I will not hear thee. See thou, see thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? They gather, the children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that, that they may provoke me to anger. Do they not, do they provoke me to anger, says the Lord. Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man and upon beasts, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, put your burnt offerings onto your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I spake not to, unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings and sacrifices. But this thing I commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice. Obedience is better than sacrifice, children of Israel and children of Judah. I said, Obedience is better than sacrifice. God said when he took you out, your forefathers out of Egypt, this is what he commanded you. Obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people and walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you that it may be well unto you. But they hearkened not, they didn't listen to God nor inclined their ear, but walked in the, counts, in the counsels and in the imaginations of their evil heart. And went backward and not forward. Since that day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them. Yet they hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Therefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them. But they will not hearken unto thee. Say, God said, you'll speak these words to these people, but they're not going to listen to you. Though, sh though thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, this is a nation that obeys not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receives correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. God says they're liars. And they don't, this is a people who will not obey the voice of the Lord their God. Let me read it again for the children of Israel and the children of Judah, the ones who will not come back to God. God said, don't even lift up a prayer for these people. But thou shalt say unto them, this is a nation that obeys not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receives correction. Truth is perished. And it's cut off from their mouth. Cut off thy hair, O Jerusalem, cast it away, and take up a lamentation on the high places. Daughter Zion, for the Lord has rejected and forsaken, so daughter Zion could pray, 
because of these people of her people. For the Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, says the Lord. They have said their abominations in the house which is called by my name to pollute it. And they have built the high places of Topet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not. Child sacrifice. These are people who sacrificed their own children. Neither came it into my heart. God never came into God's heart for them to sacrifice their own children. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I shall no more, that it shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. For they shall bear, for they shall bury in Tophet till there be no, be no place. And the carcasses of this people shall be meat for the fowls of heaven. So the children of Israel and the children of Judah who sacrificed their children. God says their carcasses of the carcasses of these people shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth and none shall fray them away. And then will I cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, the voice of the bride. For the land shall be desolate. At that time, says the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of the princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. And they shall spread them before the sun and the moon, and all the host of heaven whom they loved, and whom they have served, and after whom they have walked, and whom they have sought, and have, whom they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered, nor buried. They shall be for dung upon the face of the earth. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that re remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places where I have driven them, says the Lord of hosts. So, them people, the God said they're not even going to have a burial. These wicked children of Israel and children of Judah, the ones who do, who do these things, who sacrifice idols and, 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 and sacrifice to idols, worship idols and sacrifice children. And he says, death, death shall be chosen rather than life by the residue of these people. And this, and what what remains of this evil family? God called them an evil family, which remains in the places where I have driven them, the four place, the where God has scattered them. They still do it; their evil works even unto this day. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all places where the whether I have driven them, says the Lord of hosts. Moreover, thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord, shall, thy, shall they fall and not arise? Shall he turn away and not return? Why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back for a, by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast the seat. They refuse to return. They hold fast on deception. They hold fast a lie. Is what God is telling you. These people. I hearken and heard. But they speak not aright. So God listened to these children of Israel. And these children of Judah. But they weren't speaking right in his ears. They don't tell the truth. No man repented. Him of his wickedness. They blamed other people for why they did what they did. They never took accountability that, yes, I lied, and God said, thou shalt not lie. Yes, I stole, and God said, thou shalt not stole, that thou shalt not steal. Yes, I coveted, but that God said, thou shalt not covet. They want to justify why they stole. They want to justify why they lied. They don't take accountability that they broke God's commandment. 
They want to say I lied on her or him because of this. I stole from him or her because of this. I did this to this in person because of that. They're always pointing the finger. They hold fast the seat. They refuse to return. Hearken and I hearken and heard, but they speak not aright. They're always pointing the finger. They take no accountability. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? You see, they don't say, What have I done? They say, What have they done? They're always pointing the finger at someone else. That's why they're still in the condition that they're in. Everyone turned to his course as the horse rushes into the battle. Yeah, the stork in heaven knows her appointed times. And the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. How do you say we are wise? We are wise. And the law of the Lord is with us. Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. Because they don't listen to the, They don't follow God's law. So he said it's in vain because they don't follow it anyways. The people who wrote it because these people don't follow it anyways. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what wisdom is in them? Therefore, will I give their wives unto others and their fields to them that shall inherit them, the good remnant. For every one of them, from the least even unto the greatest, is given to covetousness. So from the youngest of them to the greatest of them, from the least to the greatest, they all deal with covetousness. From the prophet even on to the priest, everyone deals falsely. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. The, her own people, the children of Israel, have done that to daughter Zion as well. Not just daughter Zion, their own people. They coveted, they lied, they slander, and they deal falsely, even the priests and the prophets. All of them's guilty of it. God said, don't believe them because they're liars. We're, and God said, were they ashamed when they coveted from their people, when they dealt falsely with their people, when they took people's lands and houses? Were they ashamed when they lied to daughter Zion and they stole from her and coveted from her? No, God said, they, not just daughter Zion, the children of Israel, the, uh, the good remnant who they stole and plundered and oppressed their own people. God said, were they ashamed when they committed these abominations? Nay, nay, no, they weren't. They were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. I will surely consume them, says the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the tree. And the leaf shall fade, and the things that I have given unto them shall pass away from them. And that's all he wants me to read to these people. He is not turning on away the judgment. Thus says the Lord, for three transgression of Judah, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because they have despised the law of the Lord. And Judah is his lawgiver. They're supposed to execute righteous judgment. And they have not kept his commandments. And their lies have caused them to err. Beautiful people, please take this up with fasting and praying. And if you are of the children of Israel. And you are of the children of Judah. It's about time you repent and turn away from your evil ways. Because judgment starts at the house of Israel. Beautiful people of God, stay blessed.